Hello and welcome. It is a marvelous Wednesday. Olivia, I can't really say it's hump day because it's not a full week <laughs> exactly. this week, uh, but it is Wednesday. We'll say, we'll just say it's we're about day. halfway through a short week. Welcome everyone to a live post here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. I see one of our rescued residents, Polina, well, enjoying another day of living wild at heart. So welcome, welcome everyone. Wait for some people to file in here. I can zoom way in on <laughs> Polina here. It is a gorgeous spring day, Olivia. It uh, sure is. Pretty mild, mild temperatures, relatively speaking. Yeah. Only kind of low seventies. A little warmer than yesterday. I was saying how after the storms of this weekend, I think we're gonna have a couple cool days, but beautiful nonetheless. That is exactly right. Hey, Deborah Andrews, thanks for joining us today. Lisa Wallstrom's here. Hey, Lisa. Hillary Boxel, what's going on, Hillary? Good morning to you. Good morning. And, and of course, Deborah, you want to say hi to Olivia too? Saying hi, uh, hi, hi, Olivia. Deborah. And uh, of course, as well, curious who has uh, checked their email inboxes this morning? Want to be uh, talking about uh, some of the things that were featured in our e newsletter, specifically pertaining to Catio Town, even more specifically, some of the room themes. I know, a fun one. That we're going to be finding in Catio Town, the exciting project that surely you all know all about that we are uh, building for our hybrid cat rescues here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. It's exciting to get some insight into what the inside's going to look like. Yeah. In. Inside insight. That's right. Inside Olivia. insight. Yes. <laughs> uh, good, uh, good morning, Tanya Toner, neighbor from Wisconsin, checking in, of course, saying hi to all the cats in Kiara. Good morning, Adrian. Hope all is well uh, out east. Glad to have you with us on this live. And Julie Neville getting excited. Yay, alive. Good morning, all. Hey, Julie. Polina is relaxing way up on her platform, no. too. I'm sure Tiger Tarek is somewhere in I their free-roaming right? habitat. Probably in the grass, the tall grass somewhere. Marcy Sanborn checking in. Hey, Marcy. Glad to have you with us. Uh, Andrea, you did check out the e-newsletter. The room themes are so fun. Definitely a fun wish list to shop as well. Uh, that's attached to those room things. Uh, that'll be something we'll be talking about of how you can help us kind of fill out those room themes. And certainly we... Uh, know that there's a variety of ways to contribute and make a difference in Catio Town, but uh, you know, knowing that you can help uh, uh, keep it stylish in Catio <laughs> Town and get the feng shui right in some of the rooms, that's pretty cool. It is pretty exciting. Uh, so glad to hear that, Andrea. Uh, Daria asking, uh, Judson, how was, uh, how was school yesterday, Judson? What did I learn? Well, Judson, I have to interrupt you really quickly because there was a debate going on that you might be lying and just repeating the eighth grade. So we all want to know, were you repeating eighth grade yesterday or were you actually helping children? Olivia, I was repeating the seventh or oh. the, or right, no, 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 not even. I was repeating the second grade oh, yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I was back at, uh, well, if maybe I should say, I can't say alma mater if I didn't graduate, uh, but oh, I, yeah. I indeed did graduate. Uh, yesterday I got to participate in a, not only a fun event, but, uh, also I love using, uh, when I get a chance to use this word, a pretty kind of serendipitous, uh, moment for me yesterday participating in, a ba participating in that event as well is, uh. The Wildcat Sanctuary partners with an, an elementary school in a suburb of uh, Minneapolis, um, a town called Edina. Uh, and this elementary school, well, I actually went to this elementary school and graduated from this elementary school. And what's uh, the program, Kicks for Cats, is actually put on by uh, one teacher at the school. It's not put on by the whole, uh, the whole school. It's put on by just uh, Mrs. Stacy is her name. And well, the serendipitous thing is Mrs. Stacy was my former third grade teacher. So it's kind of a small Minnesota, a small world thing where the Wildcat Sanctuary is able to combine forces with Miss Stacy and her group, the Conquered Wildcats, and do something called Kicks for Cats, where each of the students, depending on the amount of goals that they make, the amount of kicks that they make for the cats, uh, they're pledging uh, amounts where they can give here to the cats and uh, actually sponsor uh, cats with some of the amount of the pledges that they've reached. They have been able to sponsor rescues here. So I was able to participate in that, cheer on the kicking for the cats, 
uh, and as well as just take a trip down memory lane and uh, just really kind of let the nostalgia wash over me. The school, um, you know, it had the same bones, you know, I think it had changed a little bit uh, since my time there as an elementary schooler. Um, but it was very cool to see, and, and just like I said, Olivia, kind of serendipitous and, and special that here I am at the Wildcat Sanctuary all these years later, uh, and to circle back to my elementary school with my same elementary school teacher, who's doing awesome things for the cats, to see the excitement that she had for um, what they're doing and how they're able to partner and support the rescues here, and how that excitement kind of overflowed into her students, Olivia. Very, very awesome and pretty moving to see too, honestly. Yeah, inspiring little wildcat advocates. And you did a little bit of a presentation too, didn't you, Judson? I did, yeah. We, we got to talk about the sanctuary. We got to talk about our rescues. We got to talk about how they're gonna make a difference with uh, their kicking of uh, kicking for the cats and and kind of just, uh, I, I was really kind of blown away as as well, Olivia. They're really kind of taking the words out of my mouth, Mrs. Stacy. <laughs> Uh, has done such an excellent job about getting them excited about the Wildcat Sanctuary. Uh, I was going through a slideshow and I said, and this cat is Indy. And the whole cat or the whole class gasps and said, this was the tiger cub that someone tried to sell. Oh, and oh, and they cool. already knew Indy's story. Wow. And uh, well, and it was because last year, Indy, uh, during the Kicks for Cats of 2023, Indy was one of the cats that they took under uh, their wing with the support that they gave. So uh, it, it, I, it, it was, you know, so special for all the reasons that I've mentioned, but then to hear how informed the kids were, the second graders, and how, like I said, they're kind of taking the words out of my mouth during this presentation. They already knew who Indy was, uh, and they knew who more than a handful of the other cats were in their stories. So uh, very special indeed, and that's the best place to start for creating a, kind of a grassroots difference for what we're doing here at the Wildcat Sanctuaries to see uh, next and up upcoming generations excited about compassionate uh, interactions with animals and um, them living here at sanctuary as opposed to being exploited. Yeah, and I think, you know, obviously you have the personal connection, Judson, which makes that experience super cool. But you and I do outreach here on social media since we're yeah. close to the public. And I think you getting out into the real world is probably nice too and special that you could get to connect with people in that way. I know, I, don't, I didn't get to hide behind my phone, Olivia. Yeah. You were up in the I, front of I had the to look at all the second yeah. graders right in the eye, and, and they were very gentle to me, so I appreciate That's that. And, and a big shout out to Mrs. Stacy and, and Concord Elementary for hosting me yesterday. Certainly have some comments to catch up on. Olivia, we are going to kind of go around the corner. I want to, uh, we're going to keep our theme of hanging out. Uh, with the tigers of feline meadows, Noah and Elizabeth are just, so I have a lot of comments to catch up on, but let's go around and do our move and right. uh, we'll check in with those two tigers about our uh, catio town to do as well. I think this is a good time to catch up on it all. Are there any comments that stood out to you while we're walking and chatting? Well, let's see here. Let's see here. I guess I can. The, the glare of the sun might make it challenging. And I can, I can, and we'll just had our internet admittedly love you we have a we have a bit of a walk here we do we do <laughs> so you and i got a chat Judge. some comments you can reintroduce yeah. uh everyone to live posts we're accumulated a follower a uh, group of followers now so we can all right well hello everyone this is olivia and judson here at the wildcat sanctuary we are a rescue and sanctuary for 140 plus wild cats in need. Our cats come from all sorts of situations, but we are here today on a live post and we're hanging out with some tigers. We were just with Helena and Tarek, and now we are off to find Noah and Elizabeth who are, I'm imagining, napping in this tall summer grass. There are a couple of flat cats right now. It's, it's a glimmer of a, of a tiger coat, but we'll see what we find here, Olivia. Um, but that's right. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have so many of you with us. We, looking forward to talking about the e-newsletter that just went out today. I'm going to catch up on some comments too as I roll into these two lovely tigers. Now look at these two all cuddled up together. That's not something we always see. I do like seeing that. Yeah, I know and Elizabeth certainly have a bond with one another, but sometimes they just kind of spend to, choose to spend 
their time in different areas and not always in the closest of proximity. So that's Tiger Noah, who's kind of got his chin up to the air. He looks like he's feeling a little bit more of, uh, he wants to sunbathe as opposed to uh, Elizabeth, who wants to lay in the shade there. They're a good balance of hanging out with one another and also taking their personal time, these two. Exactly. All right, let me catch up on some comments. Hey, Karen M, glad to have you with us. Hope all is well. I feel like I haven't seen you in a live here in a bit, Karen, so I'm really happy to have you. Uh, yeah, Karen, sorry about that. Sometimes when we do shuffle around to a different location, the internet can get a little funky on us, so thanks for being patient, everyone. Linda O saying hi to uh, myself and Olivia and, of course, the cats. Hi, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Glad to have you with us. Barbara Stockley's here. Hey, Barbara. Noah's catching some good sun rays on that chin of his. He is. He is. I'm just kind of making my way up through the comments. Carrie Miller. Yay, Judson. Super glad to hear your class had such an awesome teacher. Uh, so you got to uh, reap the rewards as well as reinforce the cat's story. It, that's such an awesome comment, Carrie. And that's it really was. It was such a rewarding experience. And um, and, uh, just to be in a position to, of where, uh, you know, I've been looking up at people in those same classrooms and hallways and, and wanting to learn from them and, and maybe just thinking that, uh, just possibly I had an impact on one of those young individuals is, is pretty cool. Pretty humbling. Look at this Marcy Sanborn. Now this is the type of information we really need to vote on here. Marcy Sanborn, considering a vanity plate for your car. But you can only do seven characters. Should you do TGR CHF standing for uh, CHFS standing for Tiger Chuffs or TGR CHUF Tiger Chuff? I like the oh first. Goodness. I think Tiger let me look, Chuffs. Let me look again. I'm gonna... No, I'm making the good decision to uh, head into the shade here. I'm kind of standing here as well, Mister No, and I'm. <laughs> I'm feeling that. That's what. See, I disagree with you, Judson. You like I the like second. the second one because Chuff is spelled out. You have the U in there. We're missing an F, though. No, there was a C H U F. We're gonna go back, Marcy. I I disagree with Judson on this one. Or is my whole universe being shook right now? And <laughs> Chuff only has one F. C H. Oh well, no, I thought you were saying you. Okay. Yes, it does only. Have okay. One. <laughs> All right. I wanted to make sure it'll be. I it. misunderstood you. Five years at the Wildcat Sanctuary, and I've been spelling Chuff wrong, and no one's no, been telling me. No, it does have me. two Fs. Okay. You're correct. All right. Good to hear. Oh, look at that. Let me click on our stars icon here. Uh, Wendy Croft sending 100 stars. Thank you for that, Wendy. And Patty Ray sending 500. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. That's uh, very, very uh, awesome of you. Thank you for that. Look at these two now spending their alone time a little farther yeah. apart. Well, no, it says I need some shade. And I'll tell you what, I'm too big of a tiger to, to try to fit under there with Miss Elizabeth. So now, Olivia, we mentioned that we had an uh, e-newsletter go out today highlighting uh, Catio Town, well, well, more so specifically highlighting well, what some of the rooms are going to be like in Catio Town. Mm -hmm. What are some of the interior spaces, the rooms having themes? And, uh, well, Olivia, why don't you just name a couple of the themes? And I'm going to encourage our followers, too, if you opened up that e-newsletter, uh, please uh, list out some of the room themes that maybe caught your eye that you uh, maybe thought were cute or fun, uh, unique, creative. We'd love to hear it. But Olivia, maybe what's your favorite room? Well, I feel like I have to go with Perby is what I'm looking forward to most. Uh, our Barbie inspired room. So it'll be all pink. But I think for Minnesota, it's only fitting to mention Northwoods. We have a Northwoods themed room, a nice cabin style. I do like that an one. An ode to Minnesota. So probably Northwoods and Purby. Northwoods, Purby. Okay. Uh, Andrea saying uh, Barbie room for the win. Yes. I, it is going to be all pink and I'm excited to see that. Yes. I can already tell that we'll quickly find their way off the wish list and ri rightfully so. Well, and what's cool about all this, Olivia, is we're talking about these different rooms that people can help us uh, kind of achieve our vision and help us decorate these rooms. Yeah, well, I think the wish list is going to be the best place to start because you can pick the exact things that you 
you want to fit. has done a very nice job of filling out that wish list with lots of supplies to fit the room theme. So check that out. Even if you don't purchase something, it's pretty fun to see what's on there. And then I think another way to support is by sponsoring a square foot. I know mm -hmm. we've been saying it for, you know, since we announced Catio Town, but if you sponsor a square foot for $250, it is a BOGO Judson, buy one, get one. And you are technically sponsoring two since your gift is matched. So that's another way to massively contribute to Catio Town and make this vision come to life. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, and as always, our uh, weekly, many of you are signed up. And if you're not, please do yourself a favor as it is. Uh, well, it's just one of the best ways to stay informed with all things Wildcat Sanctuary. And uh, oftentimes, I, as you can kind of see reflected on our social media posts, it kind of uh, drives our messaging for the day and what we'll maybe talk about on the live post uh, during that day. Um, when an e-newsletter goes out. So I love when everyone gets to kind of participate in the conversation. And speaking, one, uh, Marcy asking, uh, should you post on the group to take votes on your vanity plate? I think <laughs> that that would probably be a smart decision, Marcy. I agree. <laughs> um, I still think, I still like tiger chuffs. I like, I like something about it being plural, Olivia. I don't want, I don't want one tiger chuff. I want them to keep on coming. See, but here's what happens when you look at a vanity plate. You're trying to spell it out, and then you take way too much time trying to figure it out, and I think having the C-H-U-F is good. Okay. That says chuff. Okay. It's phonetically chuff. I'm sticking with my guns on this one, and I think the people will back me up. All right. I think, uh, you, you, I think you do have some people supporting you. Uh, Torben, I know uh, I, I know that you're a, a supporter of Elizabeth here. Wonderful to see how uh, safe and secure... Elizabeth and Noah feel, and, and I agree with me. So uh, with Noah, a cat that sanctuary here is uh, kind of in his best version of himself. Uh, Noah has lost weight since coming here to sanctuary. Noah is uh, certainly more active than he's ever been able to be, and uh, he's definitely one of those cats. Olivia, or rather Elizabeth, as well. When you know her rescue story, seeing her in the lush grass and her free roaming habitat. Her new lease on life, too, is another one that's special and, sh and uh, always should be praised. Andrea Johnson, I agree with Olivia. Okay. Lots of people don't know what chuffs are, so I think you would need the you. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, Andrea, that's, you know, that's good logical argument, and I can get behind it. I have to make it a competition, Johnson, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. what fun is life without a little competition? Yeah. Let's see here. I want to make sure that I didn't miss anybody uh, shouting out one of the rooms, uh, one of the room themes that they liked. I saw, I think I might have saw the Purby, the Barbie one again. And I think it's important, important to note why we're doing these room themes. Obviously, it's very fun. It's a way for you to be invested in this project in another special way. It makes it fun for us, for our staff, but it's also enriching for the cats. And the structure of Catio Town is kind of intended to offer a space for every cat and their individual needs. And so if a cat needs to move rooms, as you have heard us talking about, even with our big cats swapping habitats and kind of altering what they would need and giving them the best space possible, these room themes will give enriching spaces and cats, cats will get to enjoy something different in whatever room they're in. That's right. Olivia, which which room would you like the most? Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know, Judson. I feel posh is another theme and it's very neutral and relaxing and I feel like that might be nice too. There's an under the sea room, Judson, which I'm sure you would like because <laughs> I was, of fish. I was going to say any any uh, the closest I can get to actually being a fish, probably the better. So <laughs> I, I would have to say the <laughs> under, under the, the sea, sea room. Uh, well, and then I admittedly, you know, I'm a northern Minnesota boy yes. here. I, I love that Northwoods <laughs> room and and kind of the the mystique that that invokes is, is one that I'm very familiar with and, and I'm very endeared to uh, living in Minnesota. So that's a good answer. That's a good answer. I think, I think Purby is, I have to stick to that is what I'm most excited. Okay. For. All right. All right. Well, admittedly, uh, Olivia, we kind of have a tight schedule today and I, and I wanted to kind of do a, a bigger and better sanctuary stroll, but um, we are going to have to just uh, wrap it up with Noah and Elizabeth now. 
Um, but we did get to kind of cross off uh, the list of our show notes, mm-hmm. uh, talking about Catio Town, talking about the rooms that we are going to be, uh, or rather the themed rooms that are going to be making up the indoor part of Catio Town. Uh, and then I'm glad I got to kind of rehash yesterday in, in the yeah. Kicks for Cats at Concord Elementary School uh, down uh, outside of Minneapolis. Yeah, lots going on here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, but at least we got to connect with all of you for a brief moment today. Yeah, yeah. And I, I guess speaking of Catio Town, water uh, lines were going in today. They're connecting uh, our current water line to where the new water line is going to be going uh, under Catio Town. So that's exciting in and of itself. Just thinking about that progress unfolding here on site uh, as uh, our progress unfolds uh, towards uh, our, you all supporting Catio Town. So cool to get it kind of coming from both ends. But otherwise, Olivia, that's about it. Kind of a shorter week. Tammy's going to mm-hmm. have her Wildcat wrap up, which we sorely missed out on yes. last week. She was uh, under the weather and rightfully so got to bow out and uh, rest up. So ne- uh, next, uh, or rather, it'll be to- tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow I know. Oh, my day. I'm getting my days off. So my that's going to be happening uh, tomorrow. And we missed out on it last week. So I'm sure uh, we'll all look forward to uh, this week's installment. But otherwise, I think that's it, Olivia. We I did it. I think so. We did it. Uh, from a sleepy, uh, a sleepy Noah and a sleepy Elizabeth and all of us here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, thank you all for tuning in today and doing what you do for our rescued residents here. And uh, looking forward to having you back here on another live post here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Bye, everyone.